Hi everyone, I'm Ole from Bortolate Astro and today we're saying goodbye to my trusty old PC. I'm very excited because I'm about to introduce you to my new epic PC build, crafted with cutting edge components and designed for high-end performance. Join me as we embark on this exciting journey and witness the birth of a true gaming, editing and content creation powerhouse. Stay tuned as we dive into the assembly and benchmarking process. Let's get started right here on Bortolate Astro. I benchmarked both machines using PixInsight and Premiere Pro, and the results were outstanding. On my old PC, I scored 238 in Premiere Pro and 5000 in PixInsight. But on this new build, I scored almost 1400 in Premiere Pro and about 40,000 in PixInsight. These results just go to show how much of a difference a powerful PC can make, especially for demanding tasks like editing your Astro photos gaming and even editing this video. So, without further ado, let's dive into the details of my new PC build. First up, let's talk about the case I chose for this build. The Fractal Design Define 7 mid case. This case is known for its sleek design and excellent cooling capabilities, which is important for me because my PC can get quite hot during long editing sessions. The case also includes sound dampening material which helps keep the PC quiet even when it's under heavy load. One downside is that the case is quite heavy, but you'll end up with a case that have plenty of space. Let's talk about the item that keeps all other things communicate and working together. The Asus ROG Strix X670EF gaming motherboard is a top of the line motherboard that offers excellent performance and stability. It features three PCIe 5 slots, which means it can handle the latest high-speed storage devices and graphic cards with even more bandwidth. Additionally, the motherboard features a Supreme FX high-quality audio chipset with ALC4080 codec, which provides excellent sound quality for gamers and content creators. Overall, this motherboard is an excellent choice for anyone who needs a high-performance motherboard with cutting-edge features. Now, let's talk about the CPU I chose. The AMD 7950X CPU. This is a 16-core, 32-thread processor that is designed for high-end applications such as video editing, 3D rendering and gaming. It offers excellent performance and can handle multiple tasks simultaneously without slowing down. However, the CPU does require a lot of power and it can run hot under heavy loads. I'm pleased with my decision and I'm confident that this processor will be a reliable workhorse for all my needs. For storage, I chose the Kingston Renegade M2 2TB NVMe SSD disk. This is a high-speed storage device that offers lightning-fast read and write speeds. It's ideal for gaming and other applications that require fast storage access. I installed two of these bad boys in my computer one for gaming and Windows, and in general, and the other one will be a pure editing drive. Keep in mind that while this is an excellent high-speed storage device, it does come with a premium price tag compared to other options on the market. Moving on to the RAM. I chose the Kingston Fury 5600MHz 64GB RAM kit. This is a high-speed RAM kit that is designed for gaming and other memory-intensive applications. It features a low-profile design, which means it will fit in most cases without an issue. This RAM is also overclockable, so you can squeeze even more performance out of it if you have the skills to do so. However, the RAM is quite expensive compared to other options out there. The Asus ROG Loki 1000W Platinum PSU. This PSU is a top-of-the-line model that offers excellent performance and stability. It's an 80 plus platinum certified, which means it's highly efficient and produces less heat than less efficient models. This is an ATX 3.0 ready PSU with all the right specs. I'm still actually waiting to see the fans start working. That's just how powerful this PSU is. Hey, if you're still watching, I got a challenge for you. In the comments below, share a tip you have for building a PC. It can be anything from cable management to cooling solution. And to get things started, here's my tip. Always make sure to double check your connections and cable management. So go ahead, drop a comment below and let's share some knowledge. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. All right, the CPU need a cooler. 
and I chose the ROG Strix LC2360 liquid CPU cooler. This cooler is a top-of-the-line model that offers excellent cooling performance and low noise levels. It features a large 360mm radiator and three 120mm fans, which means it can handle even the most demanding CPUs. It's also fully customizable, which means you can adjust the RGB lightning to match your build. If you're looking for a top-of-the-line cooling performance, the ROG Strix LC2360 is definitely worth considering. And now for the real star of the show, the GeForce ROG Strix 4090 OC GPU. This graphic card is an absolute powerhouse, with a massive heatsink and triple fan design that keeps it running cool and quiet even under heavy loads. Real-time ray tracing and DLSS support take my gaming and content creation to the next level. And the Aura Sync RGB Lightning adds a touch of style to my build. You won't find a better graphic card out there for high-end gaming and content creation. If you're like me and use RC Astro's tools for PixInsight, you'll love the GeForce 4090. With a staggering 16,384 CUDA cores, this graphic card can help your tools become lightning fast. In conclusion, I'm really excited about my new PC build and the performance it offers. I'm confident that this PC will handle even the most demanding tasks with ease. The Cinebench R23 score was about 33,000 in multi-core and almost 1,600 in single core. And that's with a new BIOS update to help preventing this CPU burn up in flames after a lot of reports of this actually happening. I hope this video has been helpful for those of you who are interested in building a high-performance PC for video editing, gaming or other intensive applications. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content relating to astrophotography, tutorials, reviews and more. I'm Ole and you've been watching Bortolate Astro. Until next time, clear skies and keep looking up in the night sky.